Alright guys, and I'm back. Um, I did some research into the quest I was specifically looking for, and I figured out how to start it and finish it, which is good. I also found out about the Bonehawk skull, but feathers, and etc, etc. <laughs> um, outside of the castle, there are hawks flying around, or ravens look like. If you shoot them down, they'll be bone hawks. You can get the skull the fe and the feathers from them, as well as uh, claws, I believe. Alright. Into the Soul Cairn. There are two ways to get in here. One through the Dawnguard, one this way. This is the most reliable way, and you can only be a vampire to continually go back and forth here, I believe. Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. I love the look of this. Souls. I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I carry this burden with every step I take. Alright, do the quest I was looking for. Look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. My mother must have been terrified. As I was trying to say, um... Along the way we'll come across a soul. Um, you'll see it soon. You? Are you alive? I must be imagining this. Just keep along the path, you'll come across the soul in a moment. Or should. Did you know I visited elsewhere once? What a strange, wondrous place. Where'd you come from? I forgot there are enemies here. If you keep following the path, you'll eventually come across the soul that we're looking for. Down death. This way. Hmm. I like this place. It looks really wicked. Who are you? You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. This is the guy I was looking for. This is a side quest I'm going to do right now, because I really want this ability. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! So we have to find Arvac's skull. Unfortunately, the... Good stories about the Soul King, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. Unfortunately, there's a bug in the PS3 version where you can't get the um, indicator to where Arvac is. But I do know where it is. Let's see here. Alright, so that's where we need to go. I'm assuming it's this way then. Maybe wrong, probably am. But I do know what the um, location looks like. Roughly, at least. Oh, an Aknog Forge. Interesting. And, of course, it's driven in the Oblivion script. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, Black Soul Gem. Interesting. Those lightning things create Black Soul Gems for you, I'm assuming. Let's have fun exploring this area. This place is wicked. Finally, something that looks, you know, new. There actually are some tomes hidden throughout uh, the Soul Cairn that teaches our new spells. Unfortunately, I have no clue where they're at. <laughs> They're on tombstones, I know that much. They're probably inside these uh, decrepit ruins. I'll check one out to see. Soul husks. Interesting. Hello. So this is what it's like on the other side. Hmm. I didn't know there's a merchant around here somewhere. That's a soul. This is no place for you. Interesting. So apparently I didn't go far enough into the soul can for Arvac. What? Let's see if I can destroy that. It's like a soul gem. So that's a giant soul gem. <laughs> Interesting. Now let's continue on a little farther. Because I'm assuming I didn't go far enough in. <coughs> Hello. The clouds, the sky. It's all wrong. Everything's wrong. That's a question here, by the way. This is Juba's page. So I'm gonna leave that for future. Death is but a door. Time is but a window. I'll be back. Arvac! That's the horse. So I guess we gotta follow him now. That quote, by the way, that sounds so familiar. I can't remember where it's from, though. Can't go in there yet, I'm assuming. There's something in there. Off screen at the end of the LP, I'll uh, come back to the Soul Cairn and actually explore. I believe that's it right there. Not it from the looks of it. Arvac!
I don't see it anywhere. I'm not leave not continuing the storyline until I get Arvac. I want that horse. So that's that. I'm gonna go that way, and that's the um, continuous relation. So it's to the east, which is over this way. Hmm. That floating one's a good. This is the hall marker I was looking for. I think it's that right there. No, it isn't. Oh, there's a soul here. Get out while you can. I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I carry this burden every step. I know it has that floating in the background. That's it. Yep. FYI, all these monsters that are attacking us, you can actually summon later on if you find the tomes for it. Let's get our back skull right now. Still remember how to fight. I got return a skull now. <laughs> oh, there's the owner. Arvac! You saved him! His soul is free, I can feel it! He's such a loyal beast. Here. I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. So we now have the uh, Conjure Arvac spell, as soon as I can get out of this menu. There we are. Is it power? No, it's a Conjuration spell. Let's see if we can summon him. There it is. <laughs> we now have a spectral horse. That is immortal, by the way. If he dies, you can just summon him again. Soul harvested, huh? Bloody. Interesting. I'm assuming it's for a uh, soul fragment. Or a soul gem. But yeah, somewhere in this, um, 
Wasteland is a sold as a merchant. So if you can find him, you can sell shit to him, buy shit, etc., etc. Maybe even buy some of the uh, tomes that have the new spells. So yeah, the uh, location of Arvax Skull, for those of the PS3 users who have the, the bug that happens, is just over there to the west, to the east. Whoa! I'm gonna save before going in there. So yes, now we can summon Arvac wherever we want to, so long as it's, you know... I believe in an open area. You may, be, may even be able to summon him inside places. He's a conjuration spell, so probably. I'll have to test it out inside my house or something. Alright, here we go. Mother? Mother! It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. It's what some call the Domain of Molag Ball, his place in oblivion. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molag Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana? This stranger may call herself Vampire, but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? 
This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana. If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernavir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Awesome. Be careful. Hello. And keep my daughter safe. Just kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. A house. Or the remains of a house. Alright, so we can return to the soul cairn if you want to, which is awesome. I was kind of debating if I should uh, stop and do the side quest in the Soul Cairn first, and then continue in the LP. You know, record that and then do the continue here. But it looks like I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I wonder if my family misses me. I wonder if they're still alive. How much time has passed? There's some new voice actors, by sounds of it. I love that sky. I saw her a dragon. <laughs> Who are you? Random souls, I guess. Whoa!
That was interesting. That was a giant man dressed in dragon bone armor. <laughs> Hello, guys. up here. Portal, I think. I'll teleport me straight to the top. Oh shit! Uh. Oopsie. I'm okay. <laughs> That's where Arvac's skull was. I really love the Soul Cairn. It's a really nicely designed area, in my opinion. Really... wicked. That's by a soul. I fearlessly charged the enemy. Alright, so that is the uh, side quest. Strongbone man. Hmm. <laughs> Can't open that teleport me somewhere. Oh well. More souls. So this must be the place. Keeper. Cool. If you're quick enough, you actually search their remains for stuff. So I got a dragon bone axe without having to make it. Ah, so we're taking care of him. Last one over this way. <clears throat> I wonder. Ah, uh, doesn't show me anything. I just kind of wonder if they would have showed me a uh, map of the <laughs> Soul Cairn. I'm fairly certain there's a map on the internet of the Soul Cairn. Someone probably, ooh, as you sold, uh, on the PC version, uh, used a non-clipping code to fly into the air and look around and take a screen cap. Probably, that's what I would have done. Ooh, another one of these. I don't really need any soul gems though, so let's continue. What's this? I'm keeping an eye out for the uh, books as well, because I really would like to get some of those spells. There are spells that heal undead and stuff like that, so... It helps when you're a vampire, considering healing spells don't work on you. Who are you? You were half soul for a second. The warm sunshine and green grass. 
She misses being alive, that's all. Ooh, hello. What over here? Ah, one of the spells. Conjure these guys. Don't worry, I will make a, um... A bonus video showing where all the spells are, including this one. There's also a bad looks of it. Nope. This also might be another place that can make a uh, what's it called? A black soul gem. Oops. There it is. Some of the Bone Man Archer from the Soul Can for 60 seconds, wherever the caster is pointing. So we have a Bone Man Archer we can summon now. Not too shabby. Definitely fits into the theme I'm going with this character. I can see him. Potion. Damn, he hits hard. See, I had a comment um, on one of my earlier videos <coughs> mentioning, basically asking if there was any point in the LP that I didn't have a level 81 character. Uh, they sounded a little irritated with that, so I want to uh, address that while we're running back to <laughs> where we need to be. Um, for those that don't remember, I did do the uh, book trick to get to level 81 uh, where you have all your stats maxed. <clears throat> I did this mostly so I could have a relatively level playing field on all abilities, so I could go through all of the uh, quest uh, guilds. You know the what's this? Sorry, <laughs> the mages college I could do with some magic, the uh, weaponry, uh, physical attack and armor, so I can go again through the companions, good stealth and lock picking, so I go through these guilds, so on and such forth. That was the main reason why I chose to do that. It was also so I could uh, design my character how I wanted the character to be. Um, I showed you how to do the trick so you guys could do it yourself as well. Um, I apologize if you guys got irritated by me doing this. It was just a uh, choice I wanted to do to make the, the LP a little more... What's the word? <laughs> Uh, give more variety to the LP, that way I could show everything. So, um, please forgive me for that. If, if at any point in time you guys want me to do the LP with a character leveling up as the game progresses, all you have to do is say so. Anyway, that's it, so enough of that. I get a bad feeling about going in there, so I'm going to save before going in. And uh, more about the Arvac quest I just did. <laughs> um, you need to be have the, of course, the Chasing Echoes done. That's the only prerequisite for it. Um, if you have trouble finding the guy, just put on, or not put on headset, I can't, you can't really do that very well. Well, you can, I guess. 
depending on what type of TV you have. But turn up the volume and listen very closely for a person yelling RVAC, uh, and just follow it. Anyway. Hi. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Armored trolls. Weird creatures. That's just wicked looking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Down here, motherfucker. Awesome looking dragon. Can't search him, of course. I did my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernevir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll, and you can be on your way. Come on, she's leading us to the scroll. I know, I know. Nice box. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. Jeez. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the Tyranny of the Sun to fruition. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Of course. Excuse me while I explore some more. It's been a while since I've been to an actual unique area in Skyrim. The last time I was was in a uh, DLC. Well, not DLC, a uh, mod someone made. I was expecting that to teleport me. Oh well. What is up here? 
nothing. Nope, nothing. Uh, I guess we have to head back. Kind of depressing. Hello. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally and teach you my thum. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home, but those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm, in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, 
but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. In my language, the Quanaran is the Vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Even in the Soul Cairn, the defeat of the World Eater has reached my ears, Dova King. You may not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of title. Awesome. So we now summon him in the uh, other world. Let's see here. That's old Oving. Don't want him. Ah, here it is. So his name is Cursed Never Dying. Interesting. I'm actually going to favorite that. I'll use it later on. Alright, let's uh, summon Ardvac. So we can get out of here quicker. Um, he will teach us a very special shout if we actually summon him to the to Tamriel. It's actually a shout I'm going to be learning if I need to kill three more dragons to get. Oop. That was stupid. I'm not used to riding horses in this game. So yeah, you can summon um <coughs> the dragon, I can't remember its name right now. Uh literally whenever you want, even inside houses, since he's technically a conjuration spell. Although of course I wouldn't recommend it. <coughs> Summoning him inside a house would probably cause a lot of uh issues. But the main reason why you want to summon him on Tamriel is because he will teach you a stronger Thun. A very deadly one, in my opinion. <clears throat> uh, we'll have to wait until we get back there, of course, to do it. And I have to kill at least three more dragons before I can actually learn it. Love that horse. There is actually a mod. Oh, time ran out. <laughs> a mod where you can actually make him uh, red. That sky feels like I'm being watched. I can't stand it anymore. There you are. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about returning, so I'm gonna save real quickly. So yeah, basically now that you have Arvac, you can literally never be over encumbered um, outside. Because if you are, all you have to do is summon him and you can ride around as if you have a horse. And fast travel, probably. So technically your over encumbrance is now pointless unless you're inside a building. But you should be able to get onto him and you can just uh, fast travel to Riverwood and sell shit. Or to wherever you have a shop. There we are, comfy. Hold on.
Hold on. Alright then. Beyond death. We should be getting the remaining trophies relatively soon. Okay. Fine. <laughs> the drone. That probably would have killed me normally. I'll try and get some of those, uh, bone hawks. <laughs> there they are. Uh, basically anything you do that can damage them will kill them. Make sure you know where they're at, so you can actually get their bodies. Alright then, let's do it this way. Do do where is it? Kane's piece. <laughs> There's one. Claw, two feathers, and a skull. I need a few more feathers. I have no clue where the other ones fell. Yeah, the Kane's piece uh, knocks them out of flight. And since it's technically a... <laughs> um, since it technically takes one point of damage off them, I'm assuming. I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't do that. Um, anything that disrupts the flight of a bird will kill it. Including making it to where they're peaceful. All you have to do is get them to, re to respawn is go inside and come back out. I want to get that, uh, uh, necklace. <laughs> right, I have a skull, I have some bones, and I have uh, two feathers. I need six feathers in total.
Let's see if that actually did respawn. Nope. The bird's still out there splashing. Nope. Oh well. I'll come back later for that, but first let's summon... Doing on here, or how you pronounce it. Actually, give me a minute. I have something I need to do real quickly. Sorry.